Um, they used to have a little boy practicing playing the flute, etc., going up and down the path. Right. You know, I, I just I, I think at times it's just to to try and annoy other people. When I think ignore it, stay away from it, and they don't get what they want, which a lot I do think want troubles of some sort or some type of attention. Yes. And it's exact same for the other end as well. For me, anyway, I think for the Hibernian walk, the orange walks, these walks should not happen. However. If it's a walk, so that's my budgies in the background having a wee chat. Um, if it's protests, like if there's something that you're protesting for, like oh, I don't know, like, like independence, etc. You know, I think these walks are peaceful. The people are very respectful, and there's no trouble. You know, you look at the big independence walks that run. We have well over a hundred of thousand a couple of years ago before COVID. There was no trouble at all. How much trouble is there going to be tomorrow or in previous orange walks? Why is there trouble at all, though, if people are just walking? Well, I think it comes back to what I said about, I think a lot of these people are doing it for attention. And if something happens, it will kick off. And I just think you've got a lot of people that will join this walk as well that... that probably couldn't tell you the right from the left, couldn't yes. probably tell you the history of the Orange Order or anything like that, but they'll join the walk and then if anything kicks off, boom, there we go. You see, uh, people so. get their jargon mixed up. They talk about things like we're celebrating. Now, you're not celebrating, you're commemorating. And mm -hmm. what it was, Kareem, I know we touched on this the other night, but it was two families, two royal families fighting. Yes. Because William of Orange was fighting James II. James II was his wife's father. Mm -hmm. Can you see how mad the whole thing is? I don't know, but Scotty, you're an educated man and you, you're wise and you talk a lot of sense. If you were to ask any questions regarding tonight to any of these orange men or their followers, they wouldn't have a clue. No, they wouldn't have a clue at all. That's what I find I about strange. I mean, if you're involved in something, surely you should know everything about it. Yes, yeah, I know, but I think sadly that's not the case. Maybe no. it's the type of people they attract. I, I don't know. Is it the social element? Because I'm sure some of these places have pubs and bars in them, and you know, there's more. Well, I was element. once uh, taken in as a visitor just to meet somebody in an orange club. And I will be honest with you, I was actually very shocked by the way people were talking on the stage. Right. right. You know? What manner is it, Scotty? Were they well, they were swearing, just, just the way they were talking down. about people from the other side. Uh-huh, right. Okay. You know, and I thought, no, I, I don't really feel comfortable with this at all. Yeah. But that, to me, is a lack of education and that's yes. hatred. And that's bigotry, and th that it, it is dying down. Uh, I, I don't think you're going to eradicate it. I, I, I think there will always be a big divide in Glasgow. I think we can get the numbers right down, but we will always have those numpties that are going to ruin it for the majority. Yes. My other worry, of course, is that King William was a dreadful, dreadful character. He was such a shocking character. I can't repeat just the kind of character he was. Yeah, yeah. And do you think many of these orange people know no. what his character is? No, like? they won't know a thing about it. Yeah. And he yeah. was invited over, you see, as I said the other night, to say we need a monarch that does what they're told. <laughs> you see, and it was because of the wife's connection that said, why don't you and your man come over and take the throne? And he was a baddie, and he was a baddie <laughs> to Scotland because he pulled his money out of the Darian scheme. And that's when the Scots all perished and died of famine out in the isthmus of Panama, where they were supposed to go to start a new world. Goodness. Well, it's, it's history, isn't it, a lot of these, these things? And I just like feel if you're commemorating or celebrating or whatever you want to call it history, then you uh, should know your history. I think we're in danger with that, though, as well, Scotty. With a, a, I need to be careful how I word this, but when you look at a lot of these groups 
that won't eradicate like the statues of our history and our past. Bad news. Now, whether you agree with them or not, Bad it's news. still history and there's a teaching, there's a lesson to be learned. And if you just get rid of all that, then you're not learning a lesson. Bad news. I mean, the biggest traders and slaves were very often the Africans themselves. And people don't realise that. And one of the main slaving companies, the king, did have a lot of shares in it at the time. And that's how things were done then. Now, slavery is shocking and appalling. We know that. But yep. if we're honest about it, most of the United Kingdom's wealth came from it. Mm -hmm. Again, it's, it's, it was those times, as, as terrible as it, it was, Scotty, it was just the end thing at that time. Wasn't yes. it? It's the same if you look at Glasgow. The Glasgow's wealth, the city chambers, when you're inside, all beautiful marble. But that was built, was it the tobacco industry? Yes, all of it, of course. The tobacco you know, industry, because so Glasgow ran the whole of the tobacco industry. Do you know the Stirling Library? Yes. In the time where they've got the Duke of Wellington with the cone in his head. Uh -huh. yes. that, that was a tobacco baron's house. Ah, right. Now, the old Clyde steamers in the 1860s went to America to run the blockade in the Civil War. Right. That's you know, and made right. up, made a lot of money. Right. So it's, well. it's you know, people don't realise the history. I mean, Glasgow's a very proud history. Greenock, ships, sails, wow. uh, ropes, sugar, huge, huge money in Greenock, all coming from the plantations. Cotton Dundee industry in jam, Manchester. Was Dundee jam? I'm Dundee thinking, was jam, jute, and journalism. Right. You know, right. but uh, but a lot of money coming in there as well. You know, I mean, huge stuff. St Andrews. Yep. Most of the aristocratic houses, the families had shares in these plantations. Yeah. You know, but you can't <laughs> turn around. And I'll be honest with you, Kareem. If I ran a college, say it was the McClue College, and somebody <laughs> said, you know, old McClue, he was a bit of a baddie, and some students said, yeah, let's let's change the name. I would say, hang on a minute. You're here as a McClue scholar for my great, great, great grandfather. You won't be changing any names. Sack the student. If they go to the college and start saying, take down the statue of the founder of this college, sack the student. Why go there in the first place then? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. Kareem, a privilege talking to you, sir, as always. Speak to you tomorrow, Scotty. Have I, a good day. I look Thank forward you. to it. Have a good night. Cheers, Kareem. <laughs> what a top man, our Kareem. Very interesting. We're talking about the orange walk tonight. Do you think sectarians, sectarians have been addressed as Kevin? Partly King Billy was gay. So that makes the praise tomorrow more or less an LGBT pride march. Yes, indeed. Where are we? I, I can't seem to find your collar. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Oh, they panicked. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's Jerry. Jerry, how are you, my dear fellow? Dinky do from Scotty McClure. Uh, very good. There's, yeah, there's, yeah, I've got people on here. Yeah. Wait a wee minute now. They're going, well said. Thank you, do my good man. May I say your beard's fantastically trimmed. All right, hen. Uh, we'll get, I'll just give you a wee bit of this. Uh, can you shout out to my mate all the way from Togo? Yes, we can indeed. What is this wee chat? So we're getting huge stuff on TikTok. We're getting huge stuff on YouTube. Can you subscribe, please? Tap the bell. And can you go on to a uh, Twitch? Scotty underscore McClure and follow us. Sorry, Jerry, if I don't do it while you're up, I can't do it because people are ringing and ringing. That's it. I know that. I know that. Lovely to hear uh, you. Yes, indeed. Nice what can we do? Nice you. Very good tonight. Very good. Yes, you, you like this one? Uh, yep, yep. Uh, as always, if I miss anything, that I go back to uh, the programme later on. Absolutely, absolutely, because yes. we'll pop it up for you. And I popped up earlier on YouTube because you probably heard me say to Kareem, a very senior media guy said to me today, I had to ring you. I love what you're doing. He said, by the way, just to tip you the wink, Scotty, that will go massive. 
I said, are you serious? Uh, I said, because we've only got <laughs> just a few folk. He said, yeah, you're two weeks old. I said, yeah, I'm aware of that. He said, I promise you it will go massive. I said, well, I'm thinking in just calling it the internet phone. And he went, absolutely. So I was just chuffed to bits because these are very senior people. But you put a lot of work into what you're doing, and that's a lot to do with it. Well, I don't know, Jerry. I mean, it's just what I do. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but you, you have to uh, put in a lot, a lot of work into it. A lot of people, and you know, a lot of people in media do put a lot of work into it. The, the, well, the do you know what I know. see it as, Jerry? Do you know the concept in the old days of the village blacksmith? And if you were passing his door late at night, you would see the, the fire burning and you would hear the hammer going. And mm -hmm. I think it's a modern version of the village blacksmith. Say, so pop in and have a cup of tea with Scotty and he'll fix your poker for you or whatever, you know? <laughs> Aye, but uh, that was good. The thing is, um, uh, you mentioned earlier, and you were having a chat there with Kareem about the Orange Order. Yes. But uh, when you're, you're a small guy, and uh, either a boy or a girl who was in the city of Glasgow, and you enjoyed the Orange Walk. Well, it was very entertaining. Well, the music... You enjoyed the band. Yes, but and you also yeah, like to see all these people with bowler hats and blue suits and umbrellas and orange yeah. sashes. Well, Very well, colourful. You never seen that before? No. 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 So that meant that uh, when you told your parents that you were following the walk, yes. if you were Catholic, yes. you would say, oh, you don't do that. You don't do that. But you'd watched it on television. Yes. You'd seen the Americans they would have the parade, the marching, the music. And you thought, oh, this is great. We'll do that. And the first thing you've seen is the Orange Lodge. And you followed it. And you never thought anything of it. i never seen any fights. But as you get older, you, it's, it's drummed into you. Oh, you don't, you don't follow them. They support King Billy. And then you mentioned there, the people who have... Uh, organised these walks and everything. They don't know who King Billy they was. They don't know who things. King Billy was. They don't realise he was brought in, he was parachuted in because they, they they had a problem with the Stuarts and they didn't want to have... They'd had Protestant, Catholic, Catholic, Protestant. They didn't yeah. want to be run from Rome. And you can also aye. see that point of view because... Aye. The Catholic Church at the time in the 14-1500s treated the people very much as underdogs. And you can see, okay, Henry VIII actually fell out with the Pope. And I can remember taking a call on Scott FM and it was a guy who said, Scotty, I don't think Prince Charles should be allowed to be the head of the Church of England. And I said, can I ask why not? And at that time, he was, you know, just been divorced from Princess Diana. And they said, because he's an adulterer. And I said, well, can I tell you that the Church of England was set up by an adulterer for the purposes of adultery? Because that's why Henry VIII fell out with the Pope. But you had so many things raging in Europe at the time, Jerry. You had right. the Reformation. Aye. And Aye. what they were really saying was, do you mind, the Pope seems to pick everybody's king, the Pope does absolutely everything, he's God's representative on earth, we want to pick our own king. You see? And that's it. And even yeah. if you go back, James II's son, Charles Edward Stuart, Bonnie Prince Charlie, he's buried in the Vatican. <laughs> Something it's else. amazing. And the Queen Mother uh -huh. paid to get his grave done up. So you can see uh, a lot of what, what, uh, people who follow, of course, the, uh, you know, these walks. Yeah, they won't, they won't know say, any of that, Jerry. No, no. But can I say, I was uh, DJing in a pub 
in uh, Glasgow, and it was a uh, an orange hole. Uh huh. But the person came up, a woman, and I knew her personally, and I thought she was going to ask for a record. But she says to me, "You're a Catholic. What are you doing in here?" I says, "I'm working." I but I says, "I but nothing." I but nothing. You just paid me money. You just yes. paid me money. And that's the reason why I'm here. I'm not here for the religion side of it. But it just shows you. It just shows you. And, and I mean, my, my answer always is, no, I'm a Christian. I, and I, see, if I, you I, ask somebody, if you go, what religion is the Pope? They go, oh, he's a Catholic. Uh, I said, no, he's not. He's a Christian. That's his denomination. But then you mentioned is also that they uh, try to ban these walk. I don't say that we should ban them, but maybe police them a bit better. And I know that's not as easy in pubs and clubs. Yeah. But um, and then we, we go back to the way the policing is right at this minute, and it's all to do with money, and it's really really hard. Very hard. So, it's very tough at the yeah. moment. But this is why I'm saying tomorrow is it actually coming to an end and uh, Kareem's just told us that there's something like less than 50,000 orgemen around nowadays and most of them are 55 plus. Well, I've just read a couple of things back to the conversation there, but people agree and people won't agree, but that's the whole thing, isn't it? Of course it you is. Know, Jerry! I, I don't disagree. You know, I don't... Jerry, it would be a very dull world if we were all the same, but I'm just trying uh, to get a take on it. And these are things that people say, ooh, you can't discuss that. I say, newsflash, we can. That's it. And that's what I like about this program. And this. Debate. You know, we, we can. And I'll tell you yeah. something else, my dear brother. Um, right? And, and, <laughs> yeah. My dear brother. Yeah, my dear brother, and I'll tell you this that I think is amazing. You love that, don't you, my dear brother? <laughs> and uh, you're, you're tickled pink now, absolutely. You're away with it. But um, no, I'll tell you what's very, very interesting. A lady phoned me at Scott FM and she says, Scotty, son, I'm Catholic and I love the orange music. Let them walk. <laughs> and then another boy phoned and he says, Scotty, you must let the orangemen walk. And I said, why do you say that? He says, because it's the only way they'll get a good wash. <laughs> well, there you go. You mentioned there, oh, brother, who was in that programme? Who started that programme? Oh, oh, brother, oh, that was brilliant. I'll tell you who was in that. Go on. William go on. Mervyn was the bishop. Derek Nimmo was Newt. Brilliant. Who yeah, was yeah, the yeah. the curate, and the old um, the old um, dean was a lovely old actor called Robertson Hare, and he was the one that used to go, "Oh, calamity, calamity, bishop!" <laughs> and the bishop would say, "Henry, would you like a sherry?" Oh, thank you, bishop. <laughs> Did you play the part? Derek Nemo had that lovely sort of yes, absolutely. Yeah, and they were just good. so clerical, and it was called and Oh Brother. Brother. It was brilliant. No, it was brilliant. Oh Brother. Oh Brother. That's good. You got that on the ball there. Just yeah, a yeah. nice wee bit of British comedy that we don't do nowadays because half witted idiots go, Oh, that's old hat. <laughs> that's good. I told you, I told you, Jerry, I said to a top media guy, I said, If I went on here tonight, would the audience come back? Because it's 30 years since I started, he went, instant. Aye, that's it. So that puts it all in proportion. All this, the world has changed, everything's changed, everything's changed. Yeah, but Pop's got him a clue on the radio, the television, the internet. Dinky doo. Dinky doo. Oh, brother. Oh, Good brother. Night. I'll see you la. <laughs> Dinky doo. What a top man. That's our Jerry up for a bit of chat. Uh, we're very busy with the phone calls. I'm trying to read out your comments. Give us a call as soon as you can. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Welcome to all our TikTokers. Who's that? Hello. Hello, who's that? Ah, uh, that was a boring, that was a boring 
Ah, how are we doing, matey? Don't you start me. Don't on you me. start on me, matey. I'll, I'll tell you. Just, how did you I, manage to get this number, matey? You, you shut your mouth. I've just landed on Echo Golf, Papa Golf. Echo now, Papa I, Golf, I'll tell you something. Don't, 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 that was a stupid, boring conversation. A very interesting uh, conversation. No, You're just no, too uh, stupid to understand no, it. Shut, 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 Now that's you told. Listen. That's you told. Good and proper. Shut, your gob just now. Don't you ever tell me to shut my gob on my show. Right. Or you'll be going down the swanee. Uh, listen, listen, shut, shut your mouth. There was that stupid call the last time was pathetic. Talking about this, talking about that. Very interesting I, call. Ah, rubbish. I'll tell you, I'll tell you though, the best, the best reply was that you said that Pope was a Christian. That's funny. That's I correct. Think. People say, when you say what religion is His Holiness the Pope, they go, he's a Catholic. So, no, he's a Christian. Praise to the holiest in the height. Praise to the holiest in the height and in the depth be praised. In all his works most wonderful, most sure in all his ways. Ha, ha, you know your stuff, buddy. What I, about I, Edward Elgar's? Praise to the holiest in the height. In the height. Oh, oh, oh. Now, listen, buddy. Now, listen, we've got a lot of catch-up to do, right? We have. I think I know who you are. Are you the world's finest organist? Have you been at the Albert Hall? Carnegie, is Bill. The Carnegie Hall, how wonderful. Yes, now, now listen, we've got... The, um, I've got your number, buddy. And, How did you uh, get well, my number? Well, just shut your gob just now. Oh, shut my gob. Back. Don't you tell me to that shut my gob in my show. Well, well. You I need to smarten up your chat, matey. Let's, let, 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 no, just, just you watch. Remember, you need buddy, to cam it right me. down. Now, listen, listen, listen. There's that somebody queen. saying, God save the Queen. There's a, there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of people who remember you on Scott FM. Yes. Um, we've got lots and lots of memories from people that uh, used to call you in between ten and one o'clock. Yes. And uh, we we had some wonderful calls. I've got a lot of people who remember calling you, and um, mm. you know, it was it was the ten the ten uh, best favourable quotes. Yes. Um, they used to say, and um, did he do? Uh, uh, the, the the YouTube videos, <sighs> they were wonderful. They were wonderful. The seventeen hundred videos on YouTube from Scotty McClue. Well, I bet you, when I'm not here, they will go through the roof, ballistic. Well, I, I, I. I I don't want to float your boat, okay? Just, no. Well, just shut your gob just now. Shut your gob. But, don't uh, you tell me to... Uh, why don't you shut your gob and let me talk? No, why don't... No, just just you yes. shut your gob just now because I'm trying to tell you about how many people loved your videos. Um, Do you know that uh, shut your gob is not actually no, no, rude? Don't you... Don't, don't, listen, Do you know it's you not shut, rude? Shut it's not rude face. to tell somebody just, to shut their gob. Do you know what your gob is? Your gob is your big mouth. Buddy. Yes, and it's called your gob because you used to cut your meat into gob-sized pieces called gobos, and uh, you put uh, them uh, in your gob. Well, it just, just so it's not actually rude. So you thought you were being cheeky to me, but you actually weren't. Well, you failed. Well, you failed the cheek test. All you've right, done is right. used an. A very ancient Tudor phrase. I will relinquish and um, yes, I accept that. There you sometimes, are. Right, right, just, just sometimes 
I have got to tell you that you are you're you're fantastic. Um, people are always tuning in to you, and uh, they, they listen to the YouTube channels. Um, but sometimes you've got to understand, buddy, that uh, you know. But tell me this, buddy. How do we get? We used to have quarter of a million people every half hour on the radio. How do we get quarter of a million people every half hour on the internet? We need to build it. Recognition, that's the word. Recognition, so we need to get the word out there. There's Akil who says he's being rude and nice at the same time. That's you. Who's that? That's Akil on TikTok. We've got TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, no, no, no. and Tell Facebook. Him to shut his gob. Tell him to shut his gob. He can't be trusted. Akil, this man's right. telling you to shut your gob. He can't be trusted to sit right his right right round the lavatory. Can't, can't be trusted sit. to sit the right way round on the levee. Right, okay. Now now listen to me, buddy. Right, buddy. I just, I, I just shut your gob just now, okay? There's I, sixty eight oh. bin man talking to me on TikTok. Uh, Tell Jekyll and Hyde to behave, says Kulelio. Listen, less, less of that TikTok stuff. I TikTok's brilliant. They're on. They're live on TikTok right now. Dinky do every no, day. No, no, right, 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 right. right. We're right, also on YouTube, Facebook, point. Twitch, to me. LinkedIn. I came in. I came in on Echo Bravo Papa Charlie. Echo Bravo Papa, Papa Charlie, you're clear for landing. Five. Yes. I was. I've come in Echo Bravo t uh, Charlie Papa in November two five. Yes, indeed. Departure. And did you touch right. down? I touched down, yes, it was a very, very, very slow manoeuvre, it was very, it was wonderful, it was a good, good, soft touchdown. Um, Somebody has just to... said they are not scared by juvenile delinquents from Dundee. Oh. They oh, think Dundee. you're from Dundee, that's the man, that's Akil, that you've just told to shut his gob. No, you tell him to shut his gob, you right. tell him to shut his gob. Right, well I'm not telling him to shut his gob, because he sees I... a good man. I don't have a lot of time just now, buddy boy. Because I've got well, you better time. hurry up and make your point, matey. Right, just just you tell the the customers, the, the people, to smarten up their chat because I was bored. I was bored. I right, was well, we don't want you to... bored, matey. No, don't you call me matey. Don't tell me this, matey. Tell me this, matey. Right. Do you still have your Schloss in Germany? I heard you had a Schloss with one of the world's biggest organs. Do you have Do you have one of the world's biggest organs? Yes. yes there you yes. are now. Right, now you just you shut your gob. You shut I your gob know. while I tell the nation about your big organ. You told me. I told you about the Sean's Elise. Yes. Well, Sean's Elise. I, I had the Paris um, de Mont and the Sean's Elise, and I, I also had the Schloss in Germany. Germany, yes, you have a Schloss? Right, so you listen, you pin back your ears, buddy, and you get some recognition from me. Because I'm going to be phoning you soon before uh, the, all this, and that uh, you have to start educating yourself. Right, buddy. two seconds, matey. Can everybody watching this phone in now share with every platform possible right this second? Massive, massive share now. Thank you. Sorry, matey. Um, I am just at my one of my organs just now. Oh, oh, oh. Now you can't give us you can't give us a tune that's copyrighted, so it would have to be just some old hymn. The old hundreds. Fine. All people that on earth do dwell sing to the Lord with cheerful voice. Yeah, His praise no, forth tell, stop. come ye before him and rejoice. Uh, yeah. Oh enter then his gates with praise. I don't know if you heard that also. But I heard that. That was beautiful on your organ. Right. Uh, apparently, everyone, Kalelio has just said that you're more boring than the last guy. No, 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 no. 
You're a crashing boy, so we'll cut you off. No, don't you dear. I'm going to cut you off, matey. You're only allowed two calls a night. You've had one life. Excuse me, I will be calling you back. Don't you dear. No more of your nonsense, matey man. Dinky do. He's gone. There we are. That's what we do with people. Now, let me talk here to people. Um, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Love watching your show, Scotty. Good evening, Scotty. What a competition. Today is this nationwide coin hunt for a trip on the Jacobite steam train. I love it. Matey Boy is on. Scotty, how many people do you think tune in and actually listen to Top Radio tonight? How do you find out the real figures? Well, we don't know. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hey, Scotty, it's me, Glenn. Oh, Glenn, did you oh, do? I was just gobsmacked. That was just sort of a great call. It's some call, wasn't it? Hi. I'll that. tell you, I think the word's getting out there. I told you the media man today said, Scotty, this is massive. Yeah. You had it right when you wanted it. Is that you going on in the background there? No, I don't think so. Wonder what that is. Right now, yes, it's quality. It's quality tonight, Glenn. Do you think he tried to challenge you a bit there? He was trying to challenge us, and and he was trying to take us away from the subject because we're talking about the Orange Lodge. Glasgow's oh, yeah. about to be besieged by Orangemen. Right. They couldn't the walk course? on the twelfth of July, so they're yeah. apparently coming to Glasgow, and we're asking the question. Is the Orange Lodge on its way out? Is it dying off? Do you think it is, Scotty? Uh... Well, what we found out was 160,000 Orangemen about right. 30, 40 years ago. That's now become 48,000 Orangemen, and yeah. they're mainly over 55. Uh, so that sorry. sounds like it's dying out. It's a, it's a passionate thing, I suppose, for, for Scotland, though, isn't it? Talk, Scottish TikToker on, right on TikTok yeah. says, no way, never. I mean, just keep it going in generations, really, isn't it, really, I think, to be honest. Yeah. If uh, if it's something you feel passionate about. There's Akil saying, I vow to thee, my country. So do you think protests are... Uh, Good in, in reason, then, Sky. Well, it's interesting. I don't, I, I agree with people's right to protest. Yeah. I think what happens, a bit like our quality phone ins, the idiots find it and come on. Yeah, and they are yeah, trolling. So I think on uh, a lot of demonstrations, you get trolls who go, let's yeah. go along and cause trouble for these people. It's some, sometimes it is a passionate thing, though, isn't it, what people do believe in? Well, yes, I mean, absolutely. If you think, I want to live in a world, I want my children to live in a world without nuclear weapons, and then you think, but you also want your children to live in a world where they could be blown away by someone else. Put yourself out there and make your, make your voice count, isn't it, really? You know, it's all that, isn't it? You, you, if you don't stand up for your rights, then... What is the point, to be honest? And we've got a lot of rights these days, but we feel like we've got none. That we, we, we just don't, are we afraid of authority? Well we, well, we are because there's been so much authority with the pandemic. People say, by the way, you can't go out your house. Or the police will oh, get you. And if you're seen in a shop without your face covered, you'll be arrested. All never. these kind of things. So people start to panic. You just, you just do what's... What you feel is right, aren't you? And yeah, people get into a climate of fear. And this is okay. one of the reasons why we don't discuss anything to do with the you pandemic just, on here because gone. we want something different. I mean, you just respect everybody around you. Do what you do and just get on with it, isn't it really? That's what it's about. You, you, you can't... I in a bubble, can you? Guys, can everybody on TikTok think, start following? Can everybody subscribe on the, YouTube? I think the best thing for people to come forward anyway is just keep going and just stay positive, really, Sky. Keep going and stay positive, my well, boy. March I mean, on, I say. If, uh, if, you, if you dwell on things, then you're never going to go forward to your life, no. your life are you? 
No, you've got to move on. And I'm just delighted that we've been a couple of weeks doing this and everybody's starting to pick up on it. Yeah, definitely. I think it'll, it'll only get better. If we get everybody sharing at the one time, share and share and share and subscribe and follow it's and not, share, then we'll win. It's only going to pick up as time goes along and it's only going to progress in it. Well, it'll Glenn, just... what's not to like? You've heard it tonight and full flow. Wait. Scotty, we've heard it before, haven't we? We've heard it for years. Thank you, too. So. McClure's back. Scotty, you've never been gone, have you? We've never been gone, love. You, you, you can still find you wherever you are, can't you? Yeah, you can always get McClure. And as, as one of my mates said on social media, he says, Scotty, you'll be broadcasting anybody anyway, whether anyone's listening or not. Exactly. It, it's a, like I said, you're a credit to... Everything you do. Well, do you honest. know the way? I'm going to let you into a secret. Do you know what I'm really looking at here, Glenn? If you were a priest or a vicar or a minister of religion and you had yeah. an hour's service during the week right. and you, you got a couple of hundred people turning up, you'd be beside yourself, wouldn't you? I definitely would, yeah. You know? People say, excuse me, Father, who came to Mass tonight? Is it over 200? Get away! Father. Father. For I have sinned, and all that. For I have sinned, get away. And you're a minister of the internet, Scotty, are you? The minister of the internet, did you do? First lord of the internet. Exactly. Hey, I'm going to have that. to dash, la. Don't think Scotty. I don't love you. Nice one, Scotty, love you anyway. Top man, Scotty, love you I, lots. I like your car behind there anyway, you know, your black car. Do you like the old P38? It's actually what dark green. And yeah. did you see the videos on TikTok with the detail? Did, yeah. Wow. Do you still drive that then? Eh? Just, have you still got that one? No, no, still she's done. gone far too old. I had her for yeah. 20, 21 years. Call her mileage under. Uh, under yeah, 200 and, uh, 209,000 on her. And I got yeah. a call from the old mate that runs the garage that was M.O. Tina. And he goes, uh, Are you, uh, can you come down just now? I said, yeah, can you come now? And I went down and he said, right. And he gets inspection lamp. He goes, yeah. right, see this here? He said, we can't do out about that. I said, oh, yeah. dear. He said, it looks like bad news then. He went, yeah, end it road. So you still got it You still got it in storage then? Uh... No, no, end it road, end it road. Oh, I just got it. Yeah, you know, she had to go. 209,000 miles. Got to eat by gum, lad, isn't it? Hey, by gum. Now that's a proper Yorkshireman, isn't it? No, def, you are you are a proper York, Yorkshireman. I'm the Yorkshire only Yorkshire. honorary Yorkshireman in the world. You Scotty, you're a proper Yorkshireman. Though. Proper you're Yorkshire. You're, you're a Yorkshireman. It makes me laugh when I'm in the pub in Yorkshire. They all go, "Ah, he's proper Yorkshire." He's Scotty. Go, he's he's a Scotsman. No, no, he just puts that on. I reckon you were just hiding behind your Yorkshire persona all along, Scott. He's a Yorkshire lad. 100%. Hey, I love the dinky do. I one love this guy. Take it easy. See the lot. See the dinky do lot. There we are. That's our Glenn. To the telephones as quick as possible. Let me read. You tell him, Scotty, says D. Scotty, many people do you think tune in? Matey boy is on, says Numpty Heat. The Pope's attending COP26. There we are, but he's Bartry holding a big mass. Love watching your show, Scotty. Thank you, Mr. Goatface. Uh, what have we got here? The best one was the mad woman that you were arguing with, Scotty. Ronnie, you must be at that funny age if you remember old brother. Jerry, I've always been at a funny age. Brilliant, Scotty, says Terry. The numbers are going up. I'm sure the numbers will explode, just like Alex Belfields did. Wow, Jim. He's a character, is Scotty. Uh, oh, quoting Stephen Fry, matey boy. There we go, wonderful. <coughs> James says, has this guy been on the swally? James, are you walking tomorrow? Are you going along to see the parades? If you ask me, he's the world's biggest organ, says Ronnie. I'm not sure yet, Gordon, see what the weather does. Gordon Robertson, lovely to have you with us. Same here. I love watching the parades and the bands. Now, guys, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome, a particularly warm welcome to our lovely TikTokers who have joined us tonight. Amazing stuff. Thank you very much for all these wonderful things. Now, who else have I got? 
Uh, lots and lots of you here. The Orange Lodge, nothing but old bigots. Now, centre point, you need to qualify that. What do you mean by the word bigot? I hear these words and I say, you need to tell us what you mean. If you've just joined us, you're watching on TikTok, you're watching on YouTube. Can you subscribe and tap the bell? Because this is going to go very, very big and you need to be part of it. So if you haven't subscribed on YouTube, don't dilly-dally, get on and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue, follow me. Because I had two followers last week, I've now got 66. There we are. So that's that. It will never die, mate, says the Scottish TikTokers. Men with oranges, dinky do. <coughs> it's passed down the generation. Yeah, but it's nearly dying out if we're down to 48,000 orangemen. I ask you. Me too, brother. Think you do? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Uh, do you like Terry's chocolate oranges? Uh, yes, because the doctor told me to eat more fruit. Fantastic. Right, there we go. Now, who have we got here? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, uh, Scotty. Listen, I'm, uh, it's Professor Numpteed. Professor Numpteed, what are you doing on my phone in? We're busy. I know you're very busy, but listen, I want to congratulate you. What for? For having a successful phone in. <laughs> and, That's and because of you and your generosity. Well, here, what do you think? Does this sound right? Uh, McClue's phone and brought to you by the Numpty Heads. Brought to you by the Numpty Heads. How amazing is that? I'll tell oh, you. Yeah. Did you hear me I'm saying about talking to the big media guy today? Absolutely. And he's spot on, Scotty. He's You'll right up for him. this. He went, I love what you're doing. And so do we, Scotty. And I said, what, what do you love about it? I need to know. You need to tell me more. He said, look. You're up there, you've got your um, your captions are up. He says, everybody's watching you. That's what it's about. Absolutely. Now then, listen, it's good to hear Matey Boy back on the phones. Matey Boy's mad as a hatter. And uh, the thing is, Scotty, I agree with the one thing that he was saying. He's an organist. Aye, but do you know what I agree the only truth that comes out his mouth is when he tells you to shut your gob. I shut your gob, but did you absolutely. like the fact that that's not actually rude? Yeah, absolutely, because you get gob stoppers, Scotty. They're invented them for you. I bet you've had a few of them in your time. Oh, absolutely. Now then, there you yeah. go. What well, other rubbish are you going to come up with tonight? Do you know that we've only got another ten minutes left? Oh, yeah, and I've got room for another call. And you're wasting time. I'm going to cut you right off there. We've had enough of your nonsense. So there we are. Old brother was a wee bit middle class, along with to the manor born Terry and June. But I could watch them. Jerry, don't pretend you're not a wee bit middle class. I've heard you speaking. So there we are. Wolfgang, says David Taylor. Yep, same here, Gordon. Makes me so proud to be British and Scottish. Well, James... Being British is really just being part of a landmass. It doesn't mean anything else. And the Scottish crown comes under, both both crowns come under the same monarch. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? The day thou givest Lord has ended. The darkness falls at thy behest. Just one word. Yes. Boy. Yes. The day thou leavest God has ended, I will shall give you a little tune uh, on the wonderful two manual um, Willis. Oh, um, wow. I'm sitting just now. Are you at the Father Willis? I'm at the Father <laughs> Willis just now. Have you got your Father I, Willis in your hands? I do have my, I have a two manual and pedal. Uh, 16 and 4 foot bourdon on the great just now. You can't uh, beat uh, your 16 foot bourdon. You can't be, be How that, is your uh, diapason? Now, j j just pin, pin back your lugs just Pin now, back buddy. your lugs, shut your gob, all that stuff. Uh, 
And I will just give you just one little phrase just before we depart, because I know how busy you are just now. Yes. And um, I think we shall... I played at the funeral of a wonderful priest today ah. um, from Cambodia. Um, <coughs> God rest his soul. He was buried in St. Patrick's Cemetery in Holy Town in Bells Hill. I say, uh, but, yes. I say God rest his soul as well. Yes, he was wonderful. What, what, what yes, was, indeed. Uh, what, Wonderful African priest who gave. The nomine uh, patris at Fie Spiriti Sanctus. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Another um, home. I will just give you one, one, one little, um, uh, you, you will know this one. Um, Scotty, are you on standby just now? I'm on standby. Off you go. Okay, two minutes. Okay, I will just give you a little one, little uh, clip just now. Um, of the um, of the music that we processed. Um, Can you just death. before we do this, I'm going to have to say goodbye to the TikTokers. Yes. Yes. So just a second, TikTokers. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed being with you. There's a Scotty McClure saying "Dinky Doo." There's our TikTokers are off to Bobos now. Right, right, matey, 